Hello guys and welcome to episode 4 of Football Manager 2020 to roll on a roll. Uh, I'm sorry this is a bit late. Um, I've just finished my Oblivion stream which went way longer than I expected it to. But yeah, we're back with to roll. Yesterday we made some good progress. We won our game in the Austrian FA Cup beating SC Karlsdorf. We then lost 1-0 to Sturmgraz in our first league game before defeating SKN St. Paulton 1-0. And today we've got a pretty tough schedule. We've got FC Red Bull Salzburg, the best team in the league at home. We've got TSV Hartberg away, which is probably our easiest game. And we've got who are apparently the second best team in Austria in LASK at home. So yeah, let's get into this. We also got rid of our best goalkeeper in the last episode, so that could not go too well. Okay, Toplich is back from his twisted ankle. Got some scout reports. What's our budget again? 270k. Um, 54k. You can inquire. Anik Pino Udo. Okay. So Salzburg able to win 2-0. So they're the only team of two wins this season, which already tells you they're going to be tough. I think they won today as well, quite well in real life. 4-1 um, against... Against who? Who's the other team in Liverpool's group that's not Napoli? They beat someone 4-1 today. So they are a very good team. Okay, United meeting Olympiakos. Oh, that's a friendly, right. Oh, God, I say Falcao's not injured in this universe? It's crazy. Huh. Okay, Dale of Faye who seems to join Man United a lot in this game and he's done that again. Thirty one million. Oh, okay, our head of youth development's found another dude. Salid Amidu Amadu rather, it doesn't look that good. Fit, versatile, normal personality, good at heading, uh, not very determined, pretty selfish. Used to play for Blau Weisser Jungs. Blue and white young people? I don't know. Weird one. Okay, Welch has a number of standout attributes and many people feel he could make the difference. Do you agree? My assistant said that relies on him being picked in the first place. It's a good answer. Yeah, let's definitely go back to defensive against Salzburg. And drop deeper. Okay, training, Guggenig doing well. Dedic not doing well. He's been a bit of a disappointment so far. Uh, Dedic.
Nice win for United again against Tottenham. Oh, this is Prem. Nice 3 0 win away to Tottenham. Okay, top dish in the Yaboa recommended to max 45 minutes. And yeah, let's get ready for Salzburg then. Let's go with our assistant. So yeah, unchanged team from the team that beat St. Poulton. If it ain't broke, don't fix it right. So yeah, let's hope the boys can bring us another win. Salzburg have got Stankovic in goal. Nissen Christensen, Ongwene, Werber and Ulmer at the back. Andre Romalio and Junizovic holding. And Wepu and Minamino on the wings. Huang He Chan and the much sought after Haaland up front. With Kern, Farkas, Benede, Daka, Ashimaru, Pongracic and Koita on the bench. Okay, so this is likely to be a defeat. But let's at least put on a good performance. As Salzburg kick off. We're officially unbeaten at home this season. But I don't think that's going to last too long. You never know. We drew with Anderlecht away. So. We have a performance like that in us. Christensen with a throw. To Mwepu. Back to Christensen down the line. Less than a minute gone here. Christensen in the box. But he chooses to shoot from an impossible angle. And we are fortunate he did. As it was nowhere near the goal. Okay, 10... 10 or so minutes and that has been the only shot so far we're holding up yellow card for Rida Salzburg have a free kick in a good position Yunusovic with a free kick and the goalkeeper Grunwald misses it and Jerome Ongwene has given Salzburg the lead after 20 minutes uh, I did say we might pay for a loss of goalkeeper and Grunwald came out for the ball and didn't get it. It's an open header for Ongwene. Salzburg lead. Gules now with a throw. Here's Menucho. Back to Gules. Rida. Back to Gules again. Gules with a long ball over the top. And now Menucho with a chance. And his shot is blocked by Ongwene and it goes just wide. At least we had an opportunity. Now for the corner, Mada will take. And the header by Manucho, and there's an equaliser. And this guy just can't stop scoring at the moment. In fact, he's pretty much the only player on the team who's scoring. And we tie it up with Salzburg. Awesome stuff. Very happy with him so far. And yeah, actually the game stats are pretty even, but Yunuzovic with another free kick from the same spot they scored from. He Chan heads it across goal, and I think Minamino heads it over on the rebound after it was blocked. And this time we get away with it. We should definitely stop giving away free kicks in possessions like that. Positions like that. Alright, Rida calm down. They're going more attacking. Yikes. Two minutes of added time. And we actually level at half time. A bit surprising, but they've only there's only been two shots on target from both teams and they've both gone in. Yeah, I have to say I'm happy with how things are going. We're putting up a good fight against the supposed best team of Austria. 
and we're level um, have a break let's see if we can hold on maybe snatch a winner Stankovic with a goal kick for them plays it short to the goal scorer on Gwene here's Weber to Minamino his name I've heard quite a few times as well he finds Mwepu on the right. Down the line for Christensen. Inside, here's He Chan who shoots, but it's blocked and Mada will clear it. Okay, so our defense is making blocks as well. It's nice. And yellow card now for Christensen. First for Salzburg. Now we've got a goal kick. Grunwald will play it short to Yone. Yone looks for Mader in the middle. He does well to bring it down. Find Özcan Demir. Here is Gules. Reader. To Mader. And that's a poor pass. He gives it straight to Yunuzovic. He chan to Haaland. Andre Romalio finds Christensen on the right. This is dangerous. Christensen floats in the cross. Haaland's header, but it's straight at Grunwald, and we get away with that just a little bit. Yellow card now for Özcan Demir, and we've got a throw deep in our half, and Bukaka just gives it to Hechan. That's poor. He chants cross, Gules heads it away, Mada heads it on, is Andre Ramalho to Christensen. Early cross, Minamino in plenty of space, but Grunwald makes a great save, and it's a corner, and we stay level. Junuzovic with a corner. Header away by Valch. Here's Junuzovic to Werber. Andre Romalio to Haaland and he's given that straight to Prenta and we escape with that one yellow card now for Mwepu 20 minutes to go and it looks like we're just holding up holding on for dear life Bernede on for Mwepu Pongracic on for Ulma. Now throw in for Salzburg. Christensen to take. Headed back to him by Haaland. Christensen, good tackle by Pranta, but he's unable to keep it. Pongracic with a long ball. Gules heads it away. Here's Bened. Finds Werber, who's come forward on the left for cross. And Bukaka clears, Werber back in there. Free header by Yunuzovic, but Grunwald able to make the catch. He's certainly made up for the, for the cross he missed for the goal. And looks like we may just survive a draw, survive with a draw here. It's just two minutes headed on as well. Yunuzovic with a free kick. Good. Um, Gugin has been booked, plays it to Pongracic. Back to Yunuzovic for cross. It's bounced off a few people and it will go out for a goal kick. And that is that. We've taken on Salzburg and we've gotten a point out of it. And I can't be happy with the result. Performance wise, we definitely deserve to lose, but I'll take the draw for sure. And yeah, man of a match, Nissen Christensen on the 7.6. Worst player was Pranta on a 6.5, but I can't complain. Pranta seems to be losing focus at the fact that I'm happy with the performance. And now we're in 6, with some other games to play. But we've done pretty well. Next up, we play Hartberg away in a week.
And um, yeah, we have a first team as well to stop Salzburg from winning. Which is awesome. Uh, NS Unal scoring against Galatasaray. It's always funny when there's a Turk abroad that scores against Galatasaray. It's not very it's not a thing that happens often. But Manucho definitely proving his worth, taking the chances he gets. And he may well be the difference between staying up and going down. Okay. Uh, Musa Traore. Value to 8k, potentially. Or we can approach to sign him. He wants to be a squad player by in a couple of seasons time. But we cannot afford him. Okay, thank you. And we've also got Marcel Fildi. Valued at £250. Alright, well, inquiry event. Oh, it's my in-game birthday. I nearly skipped over that. I'm down to 7th. Um, I think that was because Os um, Hartberg won, yeah. We have a chance to get back above them though. So I should really check, is it the top... I mean, the bottom one team that gets relegated? Uh, relegation group. So top six... Oh, so the league splits in half at the end. Um... So what happens in the, can you click on that here, right, relegation group. So whoever wins it actually gets into a European places playoff. Whoever loses it gets relegated, so only the bottom one team gets relegated. Uh, championship group, top two get into the Champions League qualifiers. Third, to, third gets in the Europa League group stage. Fourth and fifth gets into the European Places playoff. Um, I don't know. I, I'm confused. So I guess fourth, fifth, sixth, and the winner of the relegation group get into the semi finals and then. The winner of a European Places playoff. Oh man, that's just hella confusing. If someone's watching this who knows Austrian football, please help me understand. Oh, we don't even want any money for him. Because I would have paid. That's cool. He's got some other clubs interested in him. We might be able to get this dude. I mean, again, we might not. Oh, we will. Marcel Feldi. Awesome. 20 year old midfielder. They did, we are running short on uh, midfielders. A little bit. Okay, yeah, no one, I think we have poor sentiments, so I guess we're going to move some players around, Yaragi and Agjay can go down to the B team, Yeboah can get upgraded all the way from the C team, squad's characters had a good impact on Gulez, um, awesome, cool, and just as we upgrade him, Yeboah bruises his ankle, 
and he's out for one to three days. He should be fine for our match though. Uh, young Fabian Schönlechner has dislocated his shoulder two or three months out. Yikes. Ooh, and Pod Brezova trying to match our offer for Feldy Slovakian team. Maybe I shouldn't have loaded their league up, huh? Um, so Hartberg crew of Austria Vienna. Neurauter want um should be put on the loan list to get some more playtime. Sure. Transfer list Galovic. He's not good enough. I would agree. Same for Marcel Meyer. Can upgrade Vouch from an important player to regular starter. Same for Prenta. Nitsonada want to two days out with a bruised ankle. Don't think he would have played anyway, but he's a doubt of a Hartberg game. Okay, another young player, Maximilian Hopfer from SC White. Um, one and a half current, two and a half potential. With likely fitting well. Good, good at dribbling. Good pace. He's a striker slash right winger. Not very composed, one-footed and selfish. Okay, sure. He looks okay enough. Hartberg are favourites. Uh, let's go back to set pieces because with Manucho scoring all kinds of goals from set pieces, we'd be foolish not to try and target that. Okay, trainings for Boda doing well. Toplitch not so well. Okay, let us take on Hartberg. Hartberg and, indige and indigestion. Okay, Toplish recommended to only play for 45. Re okay. So, going to make two changes to the squad that drew with Salzburg. And Simon Bakari will get a chance in goal instead of Grunwald. And Svoboda will replace Yone at centre back. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. Hartberg have got Sweater in goal. Hopefully, he's not too Sweater. They've got Leanhart making his debut at right back. Obermüller, Lukaneda, and Raswalda at the back as well. Martic and Kankola holding. Susic and Rakowitz on the wings with Tadic and Gotai up front. Or Gotal? Gotal up front. Salinger, Huber, um, Rep, <laughs> Ostrek, Dosu, Klem, and Jan Kasa on the bench. So a little bit of Turkish there. But then again, we're starting with Özcan Demir, and it is Austria. Imagine there's a fair few Turkish footballers playing there. And yeah, kick off in what is on paper the easiest of the three matches. But it is away and Hartberg are above us at the moment. So, and when I say easier, Hartberg is still a team predicted to be above us. I definitely don't mean easy. Yellow card for Leonhardt. Okay, Rasvalda with a free kick for them to Cancola. And he goes long looking for Gotal, and Gotal will get there. This is a good chance, but he makes his angle so tight for himself. 
and he can only hit the post before we get it clear. That was a very good chance for Guitar. Yeah, we're pretty much playing for set pieces at the moment. Because we don't seem to be able to score with much else. Okay, Gulez with a throw deep in our half to Vouch. Back to Gulez. Mada. And Gulez again. Back to Mada. Now Gulez. Once again, Mada playing ourselves a bit into trouble, but he's found Özcan Demir. And that's a lovely ball over the top. And Manucho's through. Charts for Manucho, but he's put this one wide. Can normally depend on him, but not this time. Vouch now with a clearance. One of the defenders missed it. But Manucho doesn't have the pace to catch up with Obermüller. Plays it back to Suete. Here's Lukaneda. Rasvalda to Rakowitz. Bringing it forward. Finds Gotal. Now Martic. Leonhardt with some space on the right. Leonhardt's cross. Headed away by Guggenig. It's come to Susic. Tadic sets up Rakowitz. And Bakari unable to save it. Stefan Rakowitz gives Hartberg the lead. And it's... Yeah, that's a shame. But we leveled it against Salzburg, so we could could potentially do it here. I mean, look at the possessions. That's, again, like around 70% to us. But we just can't create chances. One minute added on, and yep, 1-0 down at the break. Hasn't been the worst performance in the world. They've scored with their only shot on target. And it's a bit of a weird way to put it. Unlucky boys, it just wasn't our night. The night's not over. Like We can still come back. There's a whole half to play when we're down by one goal. Assistants should have a little more faith. All Manucho needs is one header. Okay, Bukaka with a throw to Mada. Sends it down the line. Manucho will latch onto it. We want him in the box, not on the side. Tries to play it off Susic, and Susic has lost it. Here is Pranta. Holds it up, and he's brought down by Leanhart. And we have a penalty and a chance to level it. Florian Mada is going to step up. He got the assist for the equaliser last game. Can he step up and score the equaliser in this one? Yes, he does. Good penalty right in the corner. Florian Mada with his first of the season to tie things up. Awesome. We are definitely proving tough to beat. And for a relegation team, I'm very happy with that. Relegation fighting team, not a relegation team. Although Hartberg may be about to make me eat my words. Susic with a corner. Lukanetta's header. Well, Lukanetta. But he's headed it wide. Sorry about that. It's not the best tier of joke. Mada to... There's Jan Demir, who's found Vouch on the right. Vouch gets into a good position. Maybe we can take the lead. Vouch pulls it back. There's Jan Demir to Reader on the edge of a box. But it's blocked and cleared. And Gotal is brought down by Guggenig. I figure a bit of a cynical foul there as Hartberg were looking to break. And he'll get himself a yellow card for that. And probably rightly so. Alright, Svoboda now with a free kick. Short to Gulez and gets it back. 
So Bodas goes long. Obermuller heads it away. Here is Martic. Gets it back from Can Cola. Can of Cola. <laughs> Just didn't realise that. And he's found Tadic through on goal. And Tadic puts it wide in another let off for us. As it remains 1 all. Rasvalder's throw to Tadic. Back to Rasvalder. Can of Cola. Plays another through ball. Chance here for Gotal. And Guggenig actually, yeah, he does block it and it will be a corner. Huber now on for Martic, Martic for Hartberg. Susic with a corner. Guggenig heads it away. It's come out to Huber. He's just come on. Huber finds Cancola on the edge of a box. Good block by Özcan Demir. Lukaneda now. Obermüller with a bad pass. We escape and now we have a ball. Reader to Özcan Demir. But he's lost out to Cancola again. Now it's Tadic as Hartberg looked to break. Back to Rakovic. Gets past Valk too easily and goes past our right back. Sets up Tadic and Tadic puts it wide. Gules, that's for right back. I forgot his name for a brief second. But yeah, I guess we're kind of holding on. Rep and Ostrak on for Rasvalda and Cancola. Leonhardt's throw to Ostrak. Huber with a long ball. Gotal flicks it on. Bukaka able to clear. Susic. Ostrak finds Tadic who's through. Tadic scores but the flag's up. Dario Tadic is offside. And a huge let off there for us. Doesn't seem to be much in the way of complaints. So I'll assume that was a good decision. But it looks like we're going to escape with a draw. Tell Guggenig to calm down. Madden now with a corner. Could be a chance for a winner here. Leanhart heads it away. Pranta on the volley. It's blocked. Rep clears. Gotal goes long looking for Tadic. Fortunately, Gulez heads it away. Ostrak heads it down to Susic. And Susic now for Hartberg. We're a bit exposed on the break. But Susic back to Rakowitz. And he fires wide. And that was a good chance. Nervous stuff. Yes, Voboda has been booked. Madder's tired. Let's bring him off. Um, let's give Dedic a go. But well played by Madder to score the equalising penalty. We'll remember his contribution forever. Um, we'll good tackle as Jan Demir there. Vouch clears it across his box and Leanhard volleys. Blocked by Guggenig for a corner. What kind of a clearance was that? It was more of a cross for Hartberg. And fortunately they don't score from it. Ostrak with a corner. Reader heads it away. Please blow the whistle ref. Rakowitz cross slash shot is blocked. Here's Tadic. And that ball's going to be too far. And it'll go out for a goal kick. We should hold on for a draw here. Come on ref. Blow the whistle. Mikari to Svoboda, to Gulez, to Valch. And there it is, the final whistle goes. We go 1 0 down again, but once again recover to get a 1 0 draw. And actually ended up with more shots on target. Florian Madder scoring from the penalty spot after. Men no, who was fouled? Was it Prenta? Prenta was fouled. Rakovitz had given them the lead. Can of cola. <laughs> I'm never going to get rid of that. Um, was a man of a match. Very good performance by him. Worst player was their centre back, Obermüller. Pleased with how things are going. I am pleased with how things are going. We've won one, drawn two, and lost one. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Do, however, go down to six as Admiral Racker one. Let's have a quick look at the season preview. 
So we're actually supposed to be the bottom team of this league. So everyone we play against is supposed to be better than us. Um, Rojo joins Shakhtar on loan. You know, to go top of a prem. Beating Chelsea. So we're beating Spurs and Chelsea now. Awesome. Now we take on LASK Linz. Who once upon a time I did manage. In an old FM save. And we'll see how they get on in this match against Austria Vienna. And I guess we'll see it in a sec. And they win 3 1. Klaus Hattrick. Potentially a player to look out for. And we can't afford Philip Kern. So I'm not going to. Wait. I missed it. Never mind. He's still 7th. Potentially it might be more beneficial. No, never mind. Ignore me. I'm talking nonsense. And Foldy has decided to join us instead of Podbrezova. Nice. Okay, Marcel Foldy. Okay, he's not a very good, great player. Okay, send him on that. Register all the players who weren't registered before. Yeah, I guess all of those players that were brought in by the head of youth development. Give out some squad numbers. Uh, Fuldi has been given 47. Ask Guggenig to welcome him. Let's take a closer look at Marcel Fuldi. Centre mid. Sporting. Good at marking. Good at crossing. It's a bit of a weird one for a centre mid. Versatile and technical. Both footed. Not good at heading. And not very strong. Okay, so he's only two star. So he's not great. But he comes from Hungary. Hopefully he's hungry for success. Used to play for... Oh, we, yeah, we got him from Sornok. The fans aren't too upset with him, so... See, Mada. Signs that he may be on the decline. Uh, his dribbling work rate. Acceleration, balance, pace, stamina and strength have all dropped. Which is a bit worrying. And yeah. At least he's still scoring penalties. Okay, LASK, not surprisingly, our favourites. But we are at home. And so far have not been beaten there in a competitive game. Uh, Rauch wants to be a more defensive winger. Okay. Go back to defensive as LASK are a good team. Stay on our feet. Let's not give away some silly free kicks. Like the one that led to Salzburg's goal. Svoboda, ball in training again. Kelvin Yeboah, not doing so well. Okay, one week left until the transfer deadline. Don't know if there's too many more players we can afford. City beat Leicester away. Pretty big result for them. Uh, 
Okay, LASK. Your turn, Sir Robert Tomshire. So, just for one change from. Just for one change from our draw of Hartberg, sees so Yone come back in for Svoboda. And yeah, LASK's team is Schlager in goal. Trana, Ramzebna, Solbauer at the back. Ramftul and Potsman as wingbacks. Wiesinger and Mikul holding. Um, is that Gol Golginger and Tete on the wings with Klaus, that guy who scored a hat trick in their last game up front. Gebauer, Filipovic, Frieser, Raguz, Renner. Holland and Ottobanio on the bench. Ottobanjo on the bench. Okay, can we go a full episode without a defeat? It'll be tough, but we can do it. We are capable. I mean, we just, we're pretty good at keeping the ball, I think. Our possession stats in all of our games have been very impressive. Now, Gulez will take a throw for us to Vouch. Mada. Back to Vouch. Now, Gulez. Able to bring it forward. Plays it back to Valch. Here's Özcan Demir. Gets it back from Valch. Valch again. Now Mada. And Valch. Definitely keep the ball a lot. Mada. Oh, that's a bad pass. Just as I say that. To Trana. Solbauer now for LASK. Long ball down the line. And Tete is one to it well before Gulez. Breezes past him, gets to a byline and chooses to shoot. Unfortunately, hits the side netting. And yeah, it's a good thing players always like to shoot when they get to the byline instead of cut it back to an open teammate. Um, Bukaka injured, bruised shin. I do not want to tempt fate and risk it. But do I even have another left back to bring on? I'm going to check. This might take a while. Um, Gulez can't. Yone can play unconvincingly. Guggenig can't. Welch can't. Özcan Demir can't. And I'm just going to. I'm not going to commentate each one. You can see for yourself. Foldy's on the bench that I didn't mention could potentially make his debut. Um, yeah, so Yone is the only one that has a hope and hell of playing there. So I'm gonna bring on Gurgic to replace Bukaka and swap him around with Yone. I think we haven't seen Gurgic as a centre back yet, so we'll see how he gets on. Okay, Schlager with a goal kick for LASK. Trauner brings it forward, finds Wiesinger. Pass to Goy Go Golginger. Michal with the long ball. But Yone heads it away. Good start to his time at left back. But Özcan Demir caught by Michal, but he's able to keep it well. Finds Vouch. Here's Gulez. To Mada. Back to Gulez. Vouch, Gulez. Mada. 
Kyrgyz. He goes for the clearance. Manuchovo wins the flick on. And Rida now might have a chance. Plays it out wide to Vouch. Vouch gets in the box and goes for it. But can't find the back of the net. Unlucky. So just one shot each. It's been a game where the defences have been on top. Even with our little shuffle. Seems to have helped our defence more than hindered it. Madder gets his name in the book. Two minutes added on. And yeah, a very good half in which we've had the same amount of shots as LASK, dominated possession. I think we're playing really well considering this is um, second, supposed to be the second best team in the league. So yeah, we've got nothing to lose. No pressure on Bakari, the goalkeeper. I guess um, I'll check in a second. Freezers replaced Golginger at half time for LASK. So they look to push for wing. Their formation is very defensive though. And maybe that's not helping them trying to score goals. And I was going to check Bakari. Yeah, he's still kind of young. He's, well, he's 20 years old. He is young. Okay, throw in for us. Gulez to Manucho, but Ramzebna gets there first and clears. Klaus to Frieza, not the Dragon Balls either. Mikol to Trauna. Gets it back from Wiesinger. Dodges the tackle, almost there. Michal to Wiesinger. And Ranftal, Frieza. Wiesinger, back to Trauna. Long ball finds Ramftal, who's able to turn away from Yone. Guggenig with the clearance. Manucho now back to Özjan Demir, but the pass is sloppy. Klaus picks it up. Wiesinger to Mikol. Through ball. Tete now with a chance. And he's brought down by Gulez. And LESK now have a penalty. Come on, Bakari, you've got this. Remember, we said no pressure. Well. It's kind of some pressure here. McCall with a penalty. And Bakari pretty much dives past it. And LASK lead. Thanks to Peter McCall from the penalty spot. Uh, well, live by the penalty, die by the penalty, I suppose. But we're not out of this yet. We've equalised every time we've gone behind. In, well... <laughs> Not every time, but almost every time we've gone behind, we've equalised. Reed has now been booked. Trano plays the free kick short to Wiesinger and gets it back. Here is Wiesinger again. Forward for Freezer. He plays it wide. Tete, Potsman's cross. Ramftal has it on the other side. Here's Freezer. Finds Klaus in the box. Good block by Guggenig. Cross back in there. And Yone is able to clear. Uh, Traun has lost it. and He's injured himself. And Rida sportingly puts it out. I don't know about that man. Filipovic replaces Trauner. Throw in for them. Potsman to take to Tete, who's been very dangerous, won the penalty of course. Potsman to Michal, Wiesinger finds Potsman over the top, Potsman gets into the box, and that's a very good block by Vouch for a corner. He wanted to be more defensive, and proving what he can do um, in a more defensive role here. Michal will take the corner. Guggenig heads it away. Here's Filipovic to Tete. Goes for goal, but it's very close to the top corner, but not quite. It 
time running out. Tell the leader, stop tackling so hard. LSK corner. Quickly, let's take off Mada because he's tired. Um, Foley doesn't look quite ready yet, so we'll bring Dedic on. Michal with a corner and Ramftal with a header off the outside of a post and wide could have been two. Yellow card now for Vouch. Three minutes added on. Is there time for a last chance? Renner's replaced Potsman. And it looks like that'll probably be it. Here is Özcan Demir. Cross to Rida. And we fall to defeat LASK. Uh, well, first team to beat us today. I suppose the last, since this is the last game of the episode. V Zingo picking up the Man of a Match award. 7.6. Kyrgyz, our worst player after he came on, getting a 6.3. Uh, maybe um, maybe it wasn't the best idea to bring him on as a centre-back. Unlucky to the players. I mean, it's a tough game. We faced the top two teams of the league and got a point out of it. It's not the worst result. Hartberg was a tough game away as well. We got a draw out of that. We're still eighth. We're not, in a, not really fighting for relegation, so I think we're good. Uh, Bukaka one to three days out with um, Bruce Shin. Should be fine for our next games. And speaking of our next games, let's look at them. We face Mattersburg, Austria Vienna and Admiral Racco Mudling. Um, okay, three teams who are in and around us. So hopefully we can at least pick up a win of the next episode, which we didn't manage today. And that's going to be the end of the stream. If you like the stream or if you want to know when I'm streaming what next, please feel free to check out my Discord link in the description below. I post my stream schedule there. You'll also find links to all my other social medias if you're interested. But for now, that's going to be the end of the stream. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.